Hello and welcome to Home Cooking Spain. Today I'm going to be cooking a stew with red beans and chicken. So let's begin. Okay, so we have our deep pan here. So I'm going to turn the stove on to number seven and I'm just going to add one tablespoon of olive oil and once that is heated I'll add the chicken and while we wait for this to heat up I'll show you what I made this morning some Spanish style donuts what do you think okay so once the oil is hot or hottish I don't mind if it's not boiling hot which it isn't that's okay I'll add these pieces of chicken in. Doesn't matter what type of ch what chicken parts you you have. I happen to have two wings, two legs, and don't know what bit that is. And we'll gently brown that off. And while we wait for that to brown, I'm going to give these a rinse. And peel my potatoes and cut them into cubes. Right, so once the chicken is brownish, I'm going to take it out on a plate. And just leave it there to the side for a minute. And I'm going to chuck in a few garlic cloves and just gently brown these off as well. Right, so once the garlic is nicely browned, what I'll do is, um, la -la -la oh yes, I'm going to add some tomato sauce. About three tablespoons, and a sprinkle of sweet paprika. Some salt. And I'm going to chuck the chicken back in. Give it a move. And now I'm going to add the broth. The half a litre broth. Okay, and I'm going to turn this full whack, cover it up, and boil it there for 15 minutes. Well, so once the 15 minutes are over, wow, so much steam here. Sorry for that. Can't help it though, can you? What I'm going to do is add the cubed potatoes in. And I'm going to turn this down to number seven, cover it back up, and we'll leave it there for ten minutes. Well, ten minutes are up, and let's see what this is looking like. Mmm, smells really good. Let's have a stab check on these potatoes. Lovely, as expected, al dente. The sauce is thickening up nicely. So, it's time to add the red beans. We'll mix it about. We've got a nice piece of bread that I made yesterday here. Can't wait to dip that in, this delicious sauce. So, we're going to cover it back up, turn it on a full whack, and leave it there for 10 minutes, and then it's done. Right, so time is up, so let's turn everything off. 
stove off, extractor fan off, and this is done. Perfect. So what I'll do now is just, um, I'll just leave it to one side to cool down and then I'll serve it up. Okay, so here is the result. Today's delicious lunch. Easy to make and about 45 minutes. And of course, I've got my lovely bread here, which I will leave a link in the description if you want to know how I make it. And it's freezeable, by the way. So, thank you very much for watching. Please give me a like if you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you have not done so yet. Um, turn on the notifications bell to be notified of my next recipe. Thank you for watching and goodbye.